welcome back to Tell to Go, a three episode series where we give you an exclusive preview of the Thomson East Coast Line 2 stations before they are open to the public on the 28th of August. Last episode, we explored Springleaf and Lentor stations and learned so much about their architecture and the surrounding places. So in this episode, we'll be joined by several guests to continue on our journey to Mayflower and Bright Hill stations. So what are we waiting for? Flower station. Wow, look at this honeycomb line. Eh? Kishan! Hey. <laughs> Can Hi. you go do that? Chill. Yes? I'm just wondering, mm -hmm. right? Why are there birds in an MRT station? Oh, there are actually 22 of these birds scattered all around the MRT station. So there are seven species of them, right? And they represent the most commonly owned bird as pets in Singapore and Southeast Asia. So the station's architectural design yeah. was actually inspired by this particular place in Block 159, Ang Mo Kyo oh. Avenue 4. Kebun Baru Bird Singing Club. Wow, you're very smart, huh? Because I've always been interested to visit this place where bird enthusiasts bring these birds <laughs> over there and then share with everybody to see. Shall we go see now? Okay. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> It is uh, to see all these colourful bird cages here. Well, Mr. Rabbit, can you tell me the history about this place? Well, this area started in the early 1980s. There were a few guys that come here to hang their birds. Over time, they decided to pull their resources and put up a few poles. As time goes on, there are more poles to put up. That's how it came about. Do you guys come here every weekend? For myself, I come only on the weekends. Uh. For the rest of the people here, they come every day. What are some of the benefits of bird keeping? The hobby is very therapeutic for the bird owners. The good thing about this hobby is that many of them, they gave us gambling because they pick up the hobby. Gambling? Yeah, and they are so attached to their birds. And this place is like a training school for their pets. They come from all over Singapore and they hoist out their birds and then the birds will encourage one another to sing. That's oh. how they do it. Yeah. So yeah. once one bird starts singing, the rest will follow. Yeah, I guess oh, so. So if you try to sing now, I'm sure they all will follow. You try. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> you try now. Go, go! Oh, why they don't cool eh? Because you're not a zebra dove, so uh, <laughs> they only uh, respond to their own kind. Ah, yeah. I'm more of a phoenix. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Mr. Robin, would you know like the sounds they make? Because I see some of the hobbyists, they actually try to communicate with their own birds also. The sound is like coo, 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 coo. So there are different ways of doing They've got different pitch, a different tone. Oh. And the bird owners, uh, they will be able to tell from the cooing. Can you imagine that? Huh? So they know their birds very well. We have different sections of songbirds here. But this particular section is zebra doves. Wait, you mean one section just for one species of birds? Yes, same species of birds will train among themselves. Is there a mini competition going on? Like who has the best bird? We have competitions practically every month. Sometimes oh. twice a month before the pandemic. With the opening of the Mayflower Station that's coming up by the Tel 2 line, yes. do you think that will educate and encourage Singaporeans and visitors around the world to visit this lovely place? So with the opening of the Amati Station, I'm sure more people will be coming here because it's something very curious for them, yeah. something very unique to the foreigners. It's an amazement, you know, to wow. see so many birds gathered together. Mr. Robin, being a regular in this area, would you have any food recommendations for us? But I only have one request. As long as it doesn't contain a species of bird, because I'm very taken aback by this place. If you are a fan of a very good homemade dumpling, oh. you should check out Shanghai Renjia. One of my favourite dishes is a Xian Jian Pao, a Shanghainese fried bun with fluffy texture and a crispy base. Other must-tries are their fried spring rolls, xiao long pao, and drunken chicken. If you crave for Indian Muslim food, you can always try it out at uh, El Shaira restaurant, oh. which is just a minute's walk from Mayflower Station. I personally love their prata, nasi papri, masala, and paper dose. Okay, I'm officially mouth-watering from all your food recommendations <laughs> right now because I know what I'm going to do, which is eat. Hey! Not yet, not yet, Kishan. I see someone else I'd like you to meet. So thank you, Mr. Robin, for taking time to share about the songbirds and food recommendations. You're most welcome. I oh. hope you'll visit again. I hope I get to eat also now. Hey, no. Hi, Wei Ling. Hey, hi. 
Uh, Weiling, this is Kishan. Kishan, she's Weiling. Hi, my name is Weiling, mm. the project manager for Mayflower Station. As part of project team, we are stationed on site to ensure that the construction works are carried out safely and in a timely manner. Oh. It is always a balancing act concerning progress, budget mm. and safety. Yeah. But ultimately, we ensure that the station is delivered on time. From where I'm standing, right, I can see something really unique. There is a bicycle parking oh. facility on top of the station. Oh, that's interesting. Can you please tell us about that? Leveraging on the different level in terrain, we have the bicycle park integrated above entrance too to maximise the usage of space, as well as to enhance connectivity to the adjacent HDB blocks, such as Block 170. Wow, that's very smart, ah! Yeah, it is. And to use that space wisely, to build something convenient for everybody mm -hmm. to use, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. There are other interesting features within the station. I'll bring you around if you like. Okay! Let's yes, go. please! Let's go! Let's go! Yay! Weiling, I noticed there are lightings on the escalators, ah, just like the other Tel stations that we've been to. Yes, all escalators along Tel and 26 of them within Mayflower have been fitted with lightings. Oh. I mean, honestly, I think it's a very inclusive feature to have, especially for people with low vision. Mm, yeah. You see, I know Amokyo is one of the oldest estates in Singapore, housing a large elderly population. Now, does Mayflower Station have special features just for our elderly residents? Yes, as you can see, there are seven entrances along Mayflower Station, which all of which have uh, barrier free access for elderly residents. Oh, that makes it very accessible, eh? Apart from the bird sculptures, you'll notice that this station architecture has a honeycomb motif along many of its walls, yes. which is inspired by Mayflowers. Oh yeah, the honeycomb! It's very nice. Yeah. Shall, Shall we, we go? Okay. Yeah. So, but then, below one. Actually, uh, really, really, really. Can I ask you, uh, were there any challenges faced in building this MRT station? A major challenge faced during construction is the tight space constraint. With Amokyo being so built up, traffic diversions were necessary, so we had to carry out up to 15 diversions to construct Mayflower Station. 15? Yes. That's a lot, eh? As traffic diversion is sequential in nature, each traffic diversion has to be carried out in series one after another. So in order to overcome this challenge, much thought is put into the planning and design for each traffic diversion. Well, from what you tell me, it does sound like it's not easy to design and build an MRT station. Mm. And on top of that, the amount of planning to ensure that this MRT station is operationally ready is such a marvel. But well, at least there's another station to explore. Yeah, shall we go? Yes, let's go. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, you're just... Say bye. Bye-bye. Ah, Thank you, Waylin. Thank you. Thank you. We are heading to Bright Hill now. One of the very first few people to get on, the, on this train. Eh? <laughs> He's very excited about trains. Yes, I love trains. Let's enter the train because go, we're going to head to go. Bright Hill now. Wow, it's actually not bad. It's quite nice. Wow. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? You realise that your shirt is like the wall, you know? <laughs> so when I'm talking to you, I'm like talking to the wall. <laughs> Funny. Eh? A bit, yeah. Funny. <clears throat> this station yeah, anyway. is called Bright Hill. You have no ounce of brightness whatsoever, no joy. Hey, excuse me, I'm the one actually pulling out the IQ for the both of us, okay? Well, please use the IQ to educate all of us on why this station is called Bright Hill. So it's an English to Mandarin translation, right? Yeah. Of Kuang Mingshan Monastery, oh. which is the largest Mahayanan Buddhist temple in yeah. Singapore. But I have another question. Yes. I cannot help but notice, right? <laughs> My beauty? Uh, no, that one I dismissed entirely. <laughs> uh, but I want to know. What is the idea behind this river that's flowing through the MRT station? Bringing luck and prosperity at home? The river oh. flowing home! Is the river always flows? <laughs> this is home, huh? Okay, this is also quite bright, but actually, <laughs> this is not really a river. This then, is an uh, intercrown spacing between big trees, right? Uh, Such as like canopies. Oh, so they took that into consideration and put it into the design. Yeah. Okay, let's go explore the rest of the station. Okay, because I got many more questions to ask you. <sighs> Why you are Ah, yeah, it's supposed to be educating. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so who do you think will benefit from having a station here? Oh, this station primarily serves the industrial estate of mm. Singming. So schools like Ai Tong and Pierce Secondary School also benefit. And remember, I was talking about the place that inspired the name of this station. The, the monastery, the, here, there. <laughs> That's fast. This station is going to be an interchange once the upcoming Cross Island Line, which is estimated to be completed in 2030, opens. Okay, so that means this station is going to be a direct connection to the city centre, as well as eastern regions of Singapore for residents and students living in this area, which is so good! That's right! <laughs> hey, uh, I have one more question. Why is that man waving at you? 
Oh, that's actually Jamal, my friend from Singapore Civil Defense Force. Oh, oh yeah, you got a lot of questions, right? Mm. He'll be very happy to answer them for you. Okay, okay. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Looks like Jamal. anybody is your friend, huh? Hi, Jamal! Oh, hi! So I have a hey, lot wait, of... Wait, 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 wait. Let Jamal introduce himself first. Uh, hi, I'm Jamal from the Community Protection Branch of the SCDF, mm. where we implement and review the National City Shelter Policy. I, I just want to say I'm very happy that you're here because he has a lot of questions, so fire away. What exactly is the MRT CD shelter? So underground MRT stations are this one. Uh. Act as public shelters to protect members of the public during uh. a wartime emergency. Ah, yeah. hanging out with her is like war like that. <laughs> MRT CD shelters are prepared, converted and managed by SCDF's Public Shelter and Resilience Unit or PSRU for short, an Operation Ready NS Unit. As part of the shelter conversion activities, the PSRU will close the entrance blast doors. These blast doors weigh a few tons and protect the people within the shelter from blast effects. Specifically, for the new generation of MRT CD shelters like Intel 2, the PSRUs will activate the Infiltration Protection Mode. This basically involves the closing of all openings to prevent harmful chemicals from entering the shelter during a chemical attack. It's good to know that we'll actually be safe in a CD shelter eh. Mm. But what do regular people like me do in case of emergencies like that? During a wartime emergency, if you happen to be outside when you hear the alarm signal from yeah. the public warning system, you have to find the nearest public CD shelter to seek refuge. Oh. If you have been affected by a chemical attack, you need to decontaminate yourself before entering the shelter management area. For TEL2 MRT CD shelters, this is done in the bypass corridor ah. where you have to use specially formulated wipes to clean yourself and pick up these clean clothes under the guidance of PSRU personnel. Large groups of people can be decontaminated effectively at the same time in this manner. After going through the bypass corridor, just follow the instructions from the PSRU personnel, move orderly to the shelter management area and wait calmly. Are there any other MRT CD shelters along TEL2? Yes, there are. Bright Hill, Lentor and Mayflower are the MRT city shelters found on Tel 2. Oh. Yes, you can find a full list of the public city shelters all around Singapore and our SCDF website. Wow, it's actually very comforting to know that there are already infrastructure in place in case of emergencies. Uh. Right? Yeah. And can we thank Jamal for talking to us and I hope right, our yeah. viewers have learned something in what to do in an emergency situation. Yes! Kishan, mm. do you remember seeing a mirror on the lift shaft at the train platform? Yes, wow. it was very hard to miss. It's nice, right? Very I nice. To see like yeah, 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 yeah. I, I forgot to ask you. Ah, another question, there, ah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there any meaning behind this artwork? Ah, that is actually a clue to where we're heading to next. Ah, let's go, let's go. Where? This place is actually the inspiration behind the artwork that's seen within Bright Hill Station, okay? The mural with the one that looks like the microscopic forms, the colours and the lines of yeah. the plant. You see, Chef Hei, I'm a big believer of nature being an inspiration for all things. Ah. And I'm very happy that Bright Hill Station took inspiration from my very own Bishan Park. Oh. Okay, let me treat you to ice cream then. Let's go! Really? Let's go. Your treat, huh? Wow. Having ice cream in this weather uh, is the perfect thing, man. Mm. I totally agree. Especially yeah. when you sit here in front of the natural scenery. Yeah. Once the station opens up, I'm gonna bring my family here. Hey, cool idea. Mm. Excuse me. Mm? Is the station opening soon? Ah yes, the station will be open on the 28th of August. That's awesome. So we usually drive to Bishan Amukyu Park during the weekends to take a stroll. You are here with your family? Yes, this is my family. Oh, we always be here every weekend. With Bright Hill Station, it provides direct connection to the park, making it more convenient for us to take a train here without worrying about parking. I guess I'll see you here next weekend. Yes, every weekend. Every weekend, <laughs> us! Every weekend. So Kishan, after mm. exploring the two stations, right, what are some of your most memorable moments from this? I got to say, from the two stations, right, understanding what it took to build the two stations, the architectural design that was inspired by the local flavours of each of the stations. Not everybody would get this when you come to the MRT station. I myself enjoyed my personal tour guide Aye. answering all my questions. So I thought that was very memorable. So Actually, thank it's you. not free. I will charge you later. Yeah, don't worry. I'll send the invoice to your company also. <laughs> so since I share with you my favourite moments, why don't you put your famous down in the comments below about the two stations. Tag me in it and I'll see if we share the same sentiments. I also have an interesting question to ask. Yeah. Name me the number of species of birds that were found within the Mayflower. 
Palau MRT station. The zebra and one. Shri don't give clue, ah. You put Very in easy the one. So anyway, thank you, Kishan, for joining me today. And You're I welcome. had a lot of fun. So for the viewers of tell to go stay tuned for the last episode where we'll be exploring the last two stations, okay? So see you! Bye!